The fire sequence, I think if it were done today, would be done with a lot more control, a lot more fire people around, permits and things like that. It was kind of a freewheeling time, and I know there were perimeters set and fire breaks set and everything, but you can see very clearly there are times when the flames kind of sweep very fast and you see some of the extras that are supposedly trying to put it out actually turn and run. And I remember a couple of times I was hand holding a camera that I had to turn and run as well because uh, uh, it was very unpredictable and there was no lighting. It was all shot with the existing firelight. It was incredibly frenetic. There was just a lot of yelling and screaming and people running around. And you can see, you know, it's cut in a very impressionistic way. It was shot in a very impressionistic way. There were some areas where you can actually tell it's a controlled burn. There are certain little cutaways where there's a small area of grass that's on fire and there's six or eight extras there with bags trying to beat it out. But that wall of flame that comes at you at one point, that was not very controlled as I recall. It was just coming at us. I think in retrospect, it was probably a lot more dangerous than any of us realized at the time.